Hey everyone, welcome back to the mailbag. Today I'm gonna show you how to get the best fit for your Shimoda Designs backpack. I'm gonna demonstrate on the Action X50. The Action X50 has a small, medium, large, and extra large torso setting. Uh, you'll just wanna loosely base your torso setting on the size shirt you wear. So for instance, I'm a medium, I already have it set up on the medium size. Now, you can also think about it in a way that if you are over six feet tall, maybe you wanna start at extra large. If you're around five nine, five ten to six feet, drop down to the large. If you're around five six to five nine, try the medium. And if you're smaller, try the small. Let's just put the bag on. You'll want to keep it so it's in a kind of a neutral and balanced feel. It shouldn't be too tight just yet. Next, find the waist belt and you'll notice our waist belts have a cutout here. You'll want the upper portion of the belt to sit above your hip bone, basically resting where it curves over. The lower part will be positioned where your hip bone is more vertical. So you can find it just by going like this and you'll find that bump on your hip and position the belt in that spot. Take the belt, close it, and draw it tight. Now try and keep the webbing ends so they're approximately the same length. Tighten the belt so it's firm, not too loose, not too tight, basically so it's not moving around as you fit your pack. Next, go back to your shoulder straps, uh, find the lower adjustment and bring some tension to those. You'll basically want to get it to a position where you can feel it resting on your shoulder and it feels a little tighter in your chest area. Take the sternum strap, close it, draw it tighter just like this. Now you can move the sternum strap uh, down or you can move it up or position it in the middle. Uh, your body shape is going to be different than mine so play around with it and just see what feels better. Generally the lower it goes the more support you're going to get from our shoulder strap design. If it's higher and your shoulder straps fan out like this, there's going to be less support and weight transfer across your rib cage. So personally, I like to have it down at about this position. Next, we'll move on to the load lifter straps. You can see they're a bit loose here and basically I'm just going to demonstrate what these load lifters do. They lift the load of the bag. Now that's much too tight for my needs, so I'm going to back it off a bit. But as you saw in the demonstration, they help bring the bag up and also suck the bag to your back more. Now this keeps the bag closer to your back and offers a lot more stability when you're wearing it. Along the same lines as the load lifters, we also have a compression strap located on the waist belt. Now at this point, we'll draw the compression strap tight so that sucks the load into your back and hip area. Again, giving you more stability. Basically, the looser your bag is on your body, the more it's gonna move around and the more energy it's gonna require for your body to respond uh, when the backpack moves. So the closer and more secure the bag is to your back, the less energy you're gonna burn. Now on the other side, we have the same strap, but it has a magnetic closure. So you'll basically just wanna bring the magnet close to the other magnet it will find its way there and then draw it closed. Now the reason we have it on the left and not the right is because the zipper track uh, is going to be blocked by the compression strap. So we need to make that quick and removable, which it is with the magnetic closure. Now with this magnetic closure, I'm gonna recommend you use it on longer portions of trail when you're not in and out of your backpack. If you are in and out of your backpack a lot, just tuck it into the jersey mesh sleeve and you won't even notice that it's there. Now you can definitely hike for hours on end uh, without this compression strap engaged, but if you do want that extra bit of support, it's an option for you to use. For the most part, this is how your pack should be set up on you. We all have different shaped bodies. It's gonna fit a little differently for everyone and you're gonna have to make little micro adjustments uh, to your own torso. A Couple of things I'll leave you with is that you don't always have to have your bag uh, on your body in the same position. If you are in technical terrain, maybe it's steep and you're scrambling down and you need your hands and you're looking down, uh, you don't really want your pack top heavy. So free feel to relax the load a bit, maybe uh, loosen your, your shoulder straps up by about an inch, loosen the belt a bit so it drops down a bit and your center of gravity is just a little bit lower. 
Or in another instance, if you're in really technical terrain, maybe you are doing uh, aggressive sports and you'll want it tight. The reason for that is you want your bag drawn to your pack so there is no energy loss and your pack isn't moving and throwing your body off balance. The final thing is that uh, a taller person is definitely going to be better off with a taller torso backpack. So something in our X50 to X70 range. And if you have a notably smaller torso, you are going to be much better off with a shorter torso pack, something in our 25, 30 liter range. So I hope that helps you find the right backpack fit and we will see you next time on the mailbag. Take care.